Hi, I'm Ilya from BitScout and in this video I wanted to show you how you can use AI to optimize your uh, operations in property management. In this case we will focus on an uh, inspection uh, operation. For that I have created a monday.com board called operations and uh, in this example we will use a simple structure where each uh, um, task is uh, one operation. For instance if we have a villa that we manage called Gloria and each time the cleaning or inspection of, of the property is done we will have one task. There are two changes that I've made to this board is first of all I've added a form which will allow our oper inspection or cleaning team to use it as a, as a way to fill in uh, what they have done and we have added a, a special workflow analysis which will analyze the images from the form uh, to validate the task. So let's see how it works in real life. So the form can be uh, converted into QR code and QR code can be placed in somewhere in the property. So once the team finished the, the cleaning they can go here and just fill the name let's say January uh, after party cleaning. Uh, they can add some files Let's say what has what they have done. And then if there are any comments, they can leave comments, but they can uh, we can skip that. So the moment uh, form is submitted, the new item is created here and uh, it will be automatically mm, uh, validated. And it means right now on the background uh, there is a BitScout workflow checking the images and uh, according to... So here we can see that once the task has been validated uh, it's put to a done mode and uh, basically what you have just done is checked the, the uh, cleaning operation. Uh, this allows you to do two very important things. First of all it allows you to not to physically be present when the inspection happens and always come, you can come back and see the photos for yourself. And it also allows you to collect a lot of information of how your operations are going so in later phases you will be able to use this proprietary data to optimize your operations even more. So let's see what happens if we don't do, uh, if we don't add any photos then the system will reject the uh, operation. So let's say January Test. Test. No photos. So if we don't add any photos, uh, then what will happen is the BitScout workflow will reject this uh, operation because there are no photos. And what, what I additionally have done is created an automation where once this item has status rejected, I will receive an email about that. It means now you create a kind of uh, asynchronous mode of checking uh, different uh, different operations in your property management. So you don't have to look all the time. You can only receive uh, uh, information and notifications once there is a problem. And this way you can really improve your efficiency. Now let's see what has happened. So this is my notification. So I can see that it was not completed. It means now uh, as a manager I can just tap in and see really happened and check why there are no pictures. And this is what uh, the, system, uh, the system says here. So if you want to see how we configure that, uh, please follow the blog uh, article in the list where you can find a step-by-step -step instruction how you can implement this same, same uh, structure that you have seen here uh, in your monday.com account. Thanks for your time and see you uh, soon.